us at www.history. Number 5. Umaga, Samoan Spike Eddie Fatu was a Samoan American professional wrestler, best known under the ring name Umaga. His character is built as this unstoppable force weighing in at 350 pounds. However, his finishing move for Samoan Spike didn't do any justice in conveying his character's destructive nature. The Samoan Spike was essentially a high speed thumb jab to the opponent's throat. Granted, a quick jab to a throat will do some damage. However, surely not enough to knock someone out. For wrestlers of his size, a signature splash would have been much better, as opposed to a measly thumb strike to the throat. Number 4. The Great Carly. The Carly Chop. In an episode of SmackDown, attacking The Undertaker. Surely, with The Great Carly, he must have a deadly finisher to accompany his giant destructive gimmick. Well, I'm afraid this is not the case. His finisher was as dull as Roman Reigns' Superman punch. The finishing move involved Kali waiting for his unsuspecting opponent to face him until he would karate chop their heads with full force. Although the move could cause a concussion, Kali's lack of athleticism and speed only made the finisher even less believable. Number 3. Mick Foley, Mandible Claw. The Mandible Claw, or Mr. Socko, as it's otherwise known as, was a finishing move of hardcore legend Mick Foley. The Mandible Claw is a maneuver that involves Foley putting a smelly sock over his hand before placing his middle and ring fingers into his opponent's mouth. The move compresses the nerves of the jaw and renders the opponent's jaw paralyzed. Although highly entertaining, the move is in no way enough to finish off an opponent. Chris Jericho even commented on the move, saying, I don't like Mr. Foley's Mr. Socko, because it doesn't do anything. He puts a stinky sock in your mouth and you fall down. The last thing I want is a dirty sock pulled out of the guy's pants and then shoved into my mouth. Number 2. Scotty Too Hotty, the worm. To give this guy credit, the worm was pure enough. However, in terms of being a finisher, the move was just possible. The worm was, in essence, a backhanded drop to a line opponent that would be executed basically in the NFL for a silly dance routine as before. He would stand over his down opponent with a big expression on his face, and then would hop four times to the other end of the ring, while the crowd chanted W-O-R-M, do the worm, and then finally sway his arms around in the air, striking him for the moment to the back The whole builder, was just for a lazy chop to the face. Although amusing, the move itself definitely should not be considered a finisher, as the fallen opponent would most likely have gotten up by the time he's done dancing. Number 1. Santino Morello, the Cobra. Words cannot describe how stupid this finishing move actually was. Santino Novella was one of the funniest performers in wrestling and and his finisher was a reflection of his comedic character. Morella's finishing move caught him taking a sock puppet snake from his bed, putting the sock over his hand, slapping his forearm to summon the snake, and then turning his head and yelling at Cobra, before eventually striking his opponent in a vocal face. I cannot comprehend how the Cobra Snake has been as a finishing move. However, the maneuver surprisingly had a pretty good success rate when executed, putting away many opponents. As well as Gimmick was fifty of ten, I guess we could forgive him for his finishing move, as you have got with it, it is pretty damn hilarious. Before this video ends, I have to showcase this absolutely bizarre move that was actually a finishing move in professional wrestling. This is not WWE, however, I have to include this on this list because it's the worst stupidity. The finisher performed by Jill Ryan doesn't even have it. Most of summarizing it, it puts the name of Joe tugging on his opponent's crotch, which in turn causes agonizing 